Bank of America is having a great year so far. The mega bank beat earnings and revenue estimates in the first quarter and was one of the top performers during the Fed's recent stress test. This allowed it to boost its dividend by 25% and further support its share buyback program. In addition, the company is expected to deliver over $2.5 in earnings per share this year, which is 38% higher than 2017. But all this is about Bank of America the business. Bank of America the stock is an entirely different story. BAC reached just over $33 in mid-March and has been in pullback mode ever since, losing around 15% as of last week. There seems to be a divergence between the optimistical fundamentals and the market price, which isn't at all surprising since they go hand in hand just as much as they don't. This means that either the fundamentals are painting an unrealistic rosy picture, or the stock is undervalued and the bulls have some catching up to do. To find out which of these two assumptions uh, is correct, we've been looking at Bank of America's current decline from an Elliott Wave point of view on this 30 minute chart you see here. What's visualized here is BAC's drop from above $33 to down below $28. Its wave structure suggests that a simple ABC zigzag correction has been in progress since March 12th. First, there's a textbook 5 wave impulse in wave A, labeled 1 to 5, where the subwaves of wave 3 are also clearly visible. Then there's an expanding flag correction in the position of wave B, whose waves A and B in brackets are double zigzags, labeled WXY. And finally, an ending diagonal wave C appears to be in its final stages right now. If this count is correct, we should expect this dip below the $28 mark in wave 5 of C, followed by a sharp bullish reversal. According to the theory, once a correction is over, the larger trend resumes. BAC was clearly in an uptrend prior to this ABC retracement, so targets above $33 are still very reasonable and it looks like the Elliott Wave principle and the fundamentals agree that Bank of America deserves a higher valuation. Give us a like and a thumbs up if you agree with the analysis and share your thoughts in the comments about where you think BAC is headed. Uh, you can also subscribe to the channel for more Elliott Wave videos. We cover stocks, forex, gold, oil and cryptos. So there will be plenty more videos coming up.